Well, greetings, salutations, it's me, James, your BA Sensei, back with another tutorial. Today, we are going to be looking at Power BI and DAX. A couple of months ago, I did a video on new customers, and now we can report on sales to new customers. And today, we're going to be doing the opposite. We're going to be looking at customers that you've lost, lost customers. So, it's going to look something like this. If you look at this dashboard over here, we have total sales, a total number of customers. We're going to be looking at a couple of measures to identify and count the number of lost customers. You can see in January 1998, we lost two customers. In April, we lost seven. And then we have a column there for the total sales value of the lost customers. Well, enough talking. Let me show you how to do it. All right, all right. Before we start with the DAX and all the Power BI madness, let's quickly define what lost customer means. This is actually a very important step. We need to define what it means. You need to understand the concept of lost customer before you can create the measure. So first of all, we're going to start with a simple example. 1st of January, customer one buys a blue bike, $1,000. 13th of February, the same customer buys a uh, helmet, $50. Category, accessory, category for that is bike. So let's say basically three months later, so now we're sitting in March, April, May, end of May, this customer hasn't bought anything. There is no new sale. So the criteria could be for this absolute customer, we wait three months, and if there's no new sale for that customer in three months, we can consider that customer as lost. That's basically how we're gonna define it in this case. We're gonna call this the absolute lost customer. And then the total lost sale, because now that we've identified the 31st of May, we will mark this customer as lost, but then the total sales lost, what would that be? What we're going to do is we're going to take the total sales that we lost within the last 12 months. In this case, it would be $1,050. $1,050 would be seen as the lost sale on the 31st of May. All right. So now let's head on over to the data model. So if we look at the data model in Power BI, we have the fact sales. We got the customer's dimension. We got the products. The products has the categories. And we have the date dimension. We can start writing the DAX. All right, so the first thing that we need to do is we need to calculate that date where we lost the customer. So we need to create per customer, what is the date on which we lost the customer? In this case, we add three months to the last known sale amount. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna create a quick table here and I'm gonna say, let's go to the customer table, grab the customer ID, grab the customer name. We have a list of that. I'm just gonna add a filter, customer name. Here we have the customers. I'm gonna start a new <clears throat> matrix report. And I'm gonna slap all the dates in there. And I'm gonna slap total sales in there. We got a total sales measure that basically just says what is the sum of the sales. You can see, so if we select a specific customer, this guy over there, you can see that the last sale was 6 May 1998. So now we need to write a measure that basically adds three months to that very last sales date. All right, so let's start a new measure. We say, cool, new measure. We're gonna start here with a variable. We're gonna say, give us the max date. Calculate, max, because I wanna find the last date, the order date table. And what I wanna do is I wanna remove all filters from the sales table, except the customer table. So I'll do it like this, all except, Fact sales, I'm gonna say all except the fact sales, customer ID, the customer table. So basically what I'm doing here is I'm saying, give me the last date, ignoring all filters except the customer ID. Close that up, variable two, say result. So if that max date is not blank, use the end of month function and takes the max date and add three months, that will add three months to the end of the month to the max date for each customer. Because our definition is, if you haven't made a sale within three months, then you've lost a customer. And we're gonna return the result. I'm just gonna call this date lost customer. All right, so now that we have that, I'm just gonna format this to date time. Let's say, tip. I'm gonna drag that date lost customer in here. And now you can see, so for this customer, you can see the last sale was May. So we're gonna say, June, July, August. So this is telling me 31 August 98. That is the date of when we lost the customer. Let's look at this guy over there. You can see this last sale was 10 April and this will add May, June, July. All right, so now we have that. We wanna now actually start doing something where we can count the number of clients that we lost 
in a specific date or on a specific date like this. You can see there we lost in March, we lost two clients. So we're going to start by creating a new measure. Let's create a variable. We're going to call this one the last date lost. Now in this variable, what we're going to do is we're going to take the last date in the currently selected context. Okay, we're going to use the calculate function along with max of the date dimension to find the maximum date from the date table, considering all the selected dates. Okay, so I'm going to quickly show you. We need to calculate max. Yeah, we find the max date from the date dimension. And we say from the considering all of the selected tables currently, date dimension relating to date, date dimension gives us that. Next thing, we're going to declare a variable called customers with lost date. So now we're going to create a list of customers based on that other function we wrote with the lost date where we lost them. Okay, so we're going to start with values. We're going to create a list of customers. Yes, but what I want to do, I want to add something to that. I want to say add columns. I want to add it to the values. I want to add a column called lost customer date. And I want to refer to that date of the lost customers measure we created because we want to kind of create a table that basically lists all customer IDs with their corresponding last date. All right. And I want to wrap this in a calculate table. I want to remove all filters from the fact sales table except the customer dimension. I'm going to say all except fact sales customers. And I want to add another filter. And I only want to do this for customers where there was a last lost date. So date is smaller or equal to last date. So that's going to give me a list that basically lists all the customer IDs, ignores all filters except the customers and the last. So what I want to do now, I'm going to take this table with all the customers with, along with their last date. And I want to filter that to only include customers whose customer date falls within the current period. So I'm going to use the filter function and check if the lost customer date is in the current date context. I'm going to say filter. I want to take that customers with lost date table. I want to take that column that we have in there. That's the lost customer date. I want to check if the values is in values date date in the current selected date context. And now the final thing is because this is a count rows, I want to take that data. I want to take that table. I want to say count rows and take all the rows in that table. And I want to say count everything from last customers and I want to return the result. Let's give it a name number of lost customers. There we go. Let's take this matrix, copy it across. Let's take out the total sales and let's quickly drag in number of lost customers. Let's take this all thing off. Now we can see it across time. How many customers we've lost. We can see in October we lost one. August, we lost 13 and July 1998, we lost 43. Pretty cool. So that is how that measure. Now we want to do the, the total amount of lost cells and we're going to use a 12 month period to do that. Let's quickly start a new measure. So what we can do is we can that measure that we just created now for the count of the lost customers. We can copy it all out, copy it all. And we say new measure. It's a new measure. Paste it in there, call it sales. And I'm just going to delete everything up to to here because the only thing that's different here is the result. I'm going to take that out. We're going to add one step. We're going to say variable. Let's say previous 12 months. So we want to look at the sales for that last customer. We're going to use a, a function called dates in period dates in period. Yes. And we're going to say so the dates and period function basically returns a list of dates for a given period. So we're going to create a period of 12 months with this dates and period function. End of month, take the max of the date. Yeah, and remember, we want to go back. I'm going to cancel that other three months. Remember, because we added three months, we need to add back the three months. And from that added back period, we want to create a, a dates and period table of 12 months. We want to look at sales for the last 12 months. That's what we put there. And we know it's for month. Okay, so we, that's going to create a nice little table of 12 periods for each 
lost client. And now all we do is we say variable result, calculate, we're going to say calculate the total sales for that previous 12 months table that we just created for each client. And we want to keep all the filters, keep all the existing filters for the lost customers table we created over there. Close it up. Say variable, say return. We return the result and we say, okay, let's just format that to currency. All right, so now let's look at the total sales there. Let's quickly add our lost customers in there so we can see how many customers we lost over this period. You can see 1998, we lost that amount of customers. So now let's add our new measure for lost customer sales for the last 12 periods. And there you go. So there's the lost sales, the amount of lost sales for lost customers. Now criteria is absolute customer loss. And also if they haven't done business in the last three months with us, we consider them to be lost. And this ignores categories at this stage. In the next video, we'll look at doing it relatively to categories. But I hope this gave you a nice little insight on how to do lost customers using the absolute method. BA Sensei, signing out.